So the ATC Rifleman Knife. Um, when you look back at the 18th century, early 19th century knives, they're heavily influenced by the Mediterranean style belt knives coming in from Spain, from Italy. These knives were, uh, a lot of people would consider them almost like a kitchen knife, but they were very simple. Uh, they were simple lines that were very useful. And so the average frontiersman that you see on the frontier, which Tennessee was the frontier, you know, in the 18th century, they were carrying a knife very similar to the, what, what we call the rifleman. And um, it is a, a good example of designing something in such a way that you're removing everything that's not necessary. So instead of us thinking, what can we shoehorn into this design? What we're trying to do is to remove as much as possible. And so it's a very simple design, but it's deceptively simple. It's a very useful size could be used for anything from, you know, the, what the frontiersmen used them for. What did they use them for? They used them for self-defense. They used them for skinning game. They used them for making things. You know, it, they, they didn't have room for multiple items, uh, for one-trick ponies. Everything had to be multi-purpose. Um, and I think people forget that. They overlook the fact that these people were carrying all this stuff, in, in, in some cases, hundreds of miles. And so weight is an issue, but the versatility is an issue.